The midday Los Angeles sun beat down on the throng of protesters, their faces contorted in a mix of fear and anger. Xavier, disguised in a pair of cheap sunglasses and a wrinkled linen suit, felt another pang of alienation. This wasn't the welcoming earth he'd envisioned. A placard in front of him blared, Keep Earth Human. Stop the alien invasion. He winced. An invasion? He and his people were refugees, fleeing a dying planet. Here, they were treated like monsters. The speaker, a burly man with a shaved head and a microphone emblazoned with an American flag, bellowed, they're taking our jobs. Stealing our resources. They're not like us, folks. They're different. The crowd roared in agreement. Xavier squeezed his eyes shut, the cacophony of hate washing over him. He wasn't stealing anything. He just wanted a chance to survive. Suddenly, a woman with a gentle face and a homemade sign reading Coexist stood up, her voice trembling. They're just trying to live, she said. Don't we all deserve a chance? The crowd jeered, but a few others joined her, their voices rising in a hesitant chorus. Xavier felt a flicker of hope. Maybe not everyone saw them as the enemy. He took a deep breath, his disguise suddenly feeling suffocating. He needed to do something. He couldn't just stand there, invisible in the crowd. He stepped forward, his heart pounding. He took off the sunglasses, revealing his bioluminescent eyes. The crowd gasped, falling silent. I'm not here to invade, he said, his voice amplified by his translator device. My home is dying. We came here seeking refuge, not conflict. He spoke of his people's plight, of their peaceful nature, of their desire to coexist. He spoke of the beauty of diversity, of the potential for understanding and collaboration. His words hung in the air, heavy with emotion. The crowd stared at him, their faces a mixture of shock, confusion, and maybe, just maybe, a flicker of empathy. Xavier didn't know if his words would change their minds, but he had to try. He was no longer just an alien in disguise. He was a voice, a bridge between two worlds, and he would continue to fight for understanding, even if it meant standing alone, bathed in the harsh light of the protest, hoping to spark a change, one human heart at a time.